So my name is Katrina Thurman. I am with West County Community Services and my, my board and I were honored to nominate Bob. Um, for us, he is the true spirit and definition of a philanthropist. He gave consistently his time, um, his money just from his heart to benefit both the kids and Bob Burke's kids program um, and to make sure that the community was fed. You know, he didn't ever, ever want to hear that somebody had gone without food and he made sure our seniors were fed and our families in the community were fed. Just an extraordinary, extraordinary soul. We'll miss him. My name is Don McEnhill and I'm the executive director of Russian Riverkeeper. And I first met Bob Burke, oh, probably seven, eight years ago. It's hard to do anything involving the river without meeting Bob Burke. Uh, he is someone that told me the first time I met him that the river is one of the most important things in the community for the kids that he cared so much for because it was the place where they could afford to go and have a vacation. Most of these kids who were battling uh, life-threatening illnesses, their family resources were exhausted and he recognized that not only was a healthy river good for his business but also good for the kids uh, that were such a big part of his life. Bob was uh, an incredible support to Russian Riverkeeper. Uh, when we had issues affecting the health of the river, Bob was always willing to support us financially. Thank you all for coming out this evening and um, honoring my brother Bob. Uh, Bob Burke was not just a good man doing good deeds. He was an extraordinary man who really did unbelievable things. I remember coming out here about eight, eight years ago with my daughter and thinking, who is this person? The year of 1967, I met a young girl that was battling cancer in Santa Rosa here. And it was quite obvious and I asked the young girl, I said, it appears to me as you have cancer. And she says, yeah. She says, the worst part about having cancer, there's nothing for us kids to do. And immediately I was inspired to start a program for children with cancer. And uh, that young girl and her family and four or five other children from uh, San Francisco came up and we started our first summer barbecue. And which now turned out to be a year-round program for children with cancer, AIDS, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, etc. It's every Wednesday night, June through September, and we have it at my sister and I's resort, which is in Forestville. It's called Burke's Canoe Trips at the intersection of Maryville and River Road. But besides the barbecues, we have trips to the county fair, we have bowling events, we have skating events, Christmas, Thanksgiving, every holiday event that a lot of these critically ill children and their families would not be able to afford. We put it on through the support of the community. I don't really consider myself as a hero. Heroes to me are the children who are battling cancer 24-7, 365, as inspirations for the children who are being diagnosed today with cancer. They're stepping stones for their, their recovery. I have a smile on my face and a smile on my heart because I go out to reach out to these kids, and these kids reach out to you. They show us every day what it is to live life at the fullest, to appreciate everything, not to put something off to the side. They do it, and they touch our lives.